today we're going to do a modification that I am pretty pretty excited for. Um, I have it in this box right there. Oh boy. All right. Let's get into it. I have inside this box something I love. There you go. So I have this. Still has a protective wrap on it. There you go. You guys can really see that now. So these, I'm going to give you fair warning. These are not legit. These are Helix um, Mark V obviously um, projector headlights I think is what they call them. Um, so basically what these are is these are these are supposed to be just like the stock headlights they use all the stock bulbs and everything like that they just look like the GLI headlights so let's give you a look at the back you guys can tell And it comes with a signal bulb already in there. It's pretty neat. Don't really know what I'm doing. Um, as a reference, I'm going to follow the ECS tuning um, headlight replacement video um, that they have. So I'm going to be following theirs step by step, um, doing all the same stuff that they do. And uh, hopefully this should work out. Let's get to it. So the first step that we're going to do is one that I've done many times. Uh, we're going to remove the front grille, which is um, torque screw there, torque screw there, and then some clips. And then we have, um, I think they're just regular Phillips head screws there and there. Um, and then the front grille comes out. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. Might time lapse this guys for you a little bit. Now they tell you to um, remove these two screws. Um, there you go. Yeah, so see that one, right? And then take a look at this one. So that's the difference. So that's like one in perfect condition. And then there's this other one that I have to deal with. It's almost a perfect circle. We might still be able to get it out. It's very, very much almost gone, but. Okay, yeah, we can get it out. It's barely even in there. Alright, so if we got it out, it was barely hardly even in there, not tight at all. Okay, well, neither of them were in there very much. So, crisis averted. I think the next thing to do is to remove the top three screws on each headlight, I believe. Okay, so because I have the left headlight already out, um, we're going to do the left one first, um, and the next step is to take off these three, um, I think these are all Torx as well, yeah. So take all three of these uh, screws out. So I have slightly missed a step, um, so, well I guess it doesn't really matter, but um, in the ECS tuning video, they took out some screws in the fender liner. It doesn't seem like the order really matters all that much, really. So, I'm going to turn the car on, that way we can uh, turn the wheel and then uh, get to those two screws. So, the screw right there, screw right there, and another screw right there. Um, they say to remove all of those ones, so... So uh, we're going to go ahead and do what they say and remove those ones uh, and then see where it gets us. Okay, so now that we have the three screws removed from the fender liner, we have these three screws removed from the top. Um, I think we can now move to this guy here, to this one here, and then I think after that we can pull the bumper away and then there's one right um, behind the bumper underneath um, that we need to undo as well. So let's get to that one. So once you take those screws off, it, the bumper can kind of just 
kind of pull away a little bit. You have to pull it away a little bit to get to this one. Okay. So, there's that one. Alright, so you guys might be able to see it. That right there, that is the last screw you have to do uh, to get the headlight out. So somehow I think I'm going to get a ratchet in there um, and try to uh, undo that one. So uh, let me go ahead and get after that one. Finally got it. Um, this was by far one of the worst screws I've ever had to take out. Um, I just don't have the proper tools to take it out that that would make it easier. But um, I got it out. It's one of those ones where the more you undo it, the worse it gets. Um, so the headlight is ready to come out. All we need to do, I think, now is just unplug it and then it should pop right out. That's the theory anyways. Let's try it. I finally managed to get it. I think it's a little clip, but I'm not really 100% sure. But now, in theory, headlight should just come right out. And voila. There it is, we did it, we did something. That was a lot of work. So now, I'm going to switch over the all the bulbs that are in here, all the ones I can find, I'm going to switch them over to the new headlight, um, which I'll show you guys, and then after that we can try and uh, hook it up and then see if it works. Alright. So I sat down to this one to figure it out. So basically, so when you take out the main light, I don't really know what this is, but you have the uh, stock headlights, just like these guys. Um, you'll take one out and it'll look kind of like this. These two will be together, something like that. And basically you just pull the bulb out. This stays with the original headlight. You pull the bulb out and then it has um, these little specific connectors. And uh, it's really simple, you just plug it right in. Um, for the most part, everything seemed to be going in very easily. Um, I got the main bulb in, um, and then I'm just doing, uh, I think this is one of the just normal running lights. I'm not really sure. I should know this, but I don't. Like I said, I'm not an expert at this. I really have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah, it's not a perfect fit. You might have to adjust it just a little tiny bit. Um, there's these little prongs that are supposed to fit underneath this light. It's supposed to fit right in this little groove. I don't know if you guys can tell. Yeah, right there. There's a little groove right underneath this little um, disc part. And it has these little prongs that are supposed to fit under there and it's not quite fitting right. So after all that work of putting all the bulbs in the headlight and having it um, be all set up, I realized that I put all the bulbs into the wrong headlight. Um, and I also realized that I said, I think, early in the video that I was going to take out the left headlight, um, and then I started working on the right, um, because I was looking at the car and I thought the one on the left was the left, but it's obviously not, it's the right. So now I need to switch out all the bulbs at the left headlight into the right headlight. So I'm going to do that off camera, um, and I'll be back with you guys, and then we can try and plug it in. Hopefully it works. I'm hoping it works. Alright, so we have the proper headlight. Um, Everything plugged in, all the bulbs are in. So I think I, what I'm gonna do now is uh, plug it in and um, before we install it, I'm gonna turn the car on and see if all the lights work. So here goes nothing. So here goes nothing. Hopefully the car doesn't catch on fire. That's what I'm hoping for. Um, plugged in, everything should work. And you guys will see it first, so... So the lights work. Um, we put on the high beams. Alright, those seem to work pretty well too. I'm getting a headlight sensor on my dash, and I have the right blinker on right now and it's not working. So I'm going to take it out, switch out the blinker that's in here with the one that's over there, and then hopefully that'll work. Alright, so you guys might be hearing a really awful humming noise, that's just because the car's on, but as you can see, blinker's working. 
Um, it wasn't the bulb, it was just the way the bulb was in there. Um, like I said, um, you might have to make some minor adjustments um, with these, but uh, it was just the way the bulb was touching the connector, it just wasn't making a good enough connection. So I uh, switched that, so I think it's good to go. All right guys, so we have one headlight is in. Everything's working perfectly on it. Um, got the um, daytime running lights are working, the blinkers working, the high beams are working. It's all good. Um, that is installed, and now I'm gonna do um, the other one off camera. Um, and then once I'm done with that, I'll uh, show you guys the results. Let's take a quick side by side view, real quick. So there's the old stock headlight. There's the new GLI replica headlight. I guess that's what I'm going to call these from now on, GLI replicas. Let me get to uh, installing the left one now, the driver's side. Um, and then once I'm done with that, I'll show you guys the results. Alright guys, so the install is finished. Everything went in really well the, the uh, second time I did it. Uh, which was the driver's side was way easier uh, than the passenger side just because I knew how how everything went, I knew how it was going to go and uh, it took me much less time. So I'm really happy with that, I'm really happy with the results. Uh, let me show you guys what it looks like. So there you have it. So that's the finished product. Very happy with it. So if you guys liked the video, please leave a like. If you have any questions, leave a comment. If you want to see more videos like this one, go ahead and subscribe. And then go ahead and follow uh, my sort of company page, my uh, clothing, possibly my co clothing brand page um, on Instagram and Facebook. It is Moist Supply Co. So. Got something that looks like this. Uh, this is like one of the first um, renditions of any designs that I've maybe thought about making. So like I said, go ahead and go follow the Moist Supply Co. Uh, Instagram page. I'm gonna be posting some of the designs that I've made. Nothing really professional, nothing crazy. But you know, just to see uh, if you guys like them or anything, we might be able to make some for, for the subscribers and stuff. Uh, but if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. Uh, if you want to see more, subscribe, and if you have any questions, leave a comment. Alright guys, I'm out.